In this lesson, we will discuss the next section of 2D contour machining. We discuss the tabs section. This option inserts automatic technological tabs to the toolpath. What is tabs? So far I have often met with tabs in the machining of wood-based material, for example MDF, on routers or in the machining of sheets on laser, plasma or water jet machines. The tab holds the part to the stock and will leave a short and thin piece of material so that the part doesn't move when we cut it out of a much larger material or when we simply have a problem with fixing, for example milling thin sheets. Then we break or we cut the part from stock manually. Ok, uh, let's select geometry to show tabs on the screen. Ok, here we have tabs and we can control the shape and the size of tabs using these parameters. The first one is tab shape. We have rectangular tabs or triangular tabs. Ok, we can also specify tab width and tab height. Ok, I select rectangular tabs and changing the tab width you can see how it works or tab height ok ok next option is tab positioning we can position tabs by distance or at points using the by distance option in the tab distance we specify the distance between tabs the smaller the value the more tabs for example type in here 100 ok 200 ok 300 and 400 will be the same 500 the toolpath is too short to place tab with distance 500 between each one ok type in here 300 ok and another option is at points and uh, with this option we can select the points where we want to place tabs ok to show tabs on the toolpath it's better select this contour lower contour of this model uh, or we could change bottom height leave this value default and change tab height for 0.5 millimeters and tab width for 10 millimeters and tab positioning change to by distance and type in here for example 100 ok let's click ok and in toolpath you can see the tool goes up a little in these places leaving a thin layer of material ok let's check the simulation Okay. okay, we have collision here because tool flute is shorter than the milling depth, but let's check the stock. Okay, here we have a material and this is our tabs. Okay. I will change the tool for end mill to show tabs option. We can select tools from samples library and select for operation contour type of tool 
mm, flat dimensions diameter 16 millimeters okay okay select height tab and here type in minus 10 okay run simulation okay the float is still shorter than the milling depth but you can see the tabs okay let's edit setup let's edit stock stock site offset type in here for example um, 40 millimeters stock top offset 0 millimeters and stock bottom offset type in 2 millimeters okay Edit this toolpath, selected contours, and type in here minus 2. OK. OK, run the simulation again. OK, this is our tabs, and this tabs still holds the workpiece to the rest of the stock and after machining we break or we cut the part from stock manually okay let's unselect the tab section and in the next video we will discuss the rest machining section